Hey you guys, so it's day six of our seven days or top seven tips of yoga in celebration of International Yoga Day. And today I wanna to talk to you about balance. So for many, many years, 20 something years, I taught in the fitness industry and world along with teaching yoga. And I remember a hard core principle that was drilled into us was if you do it on the right, you do it on the left. You find balance, you find balance, you find balance. If you lunge 50 times on this side, you lunge 50 times on this side. If you do five bicep curls on this side, you do five bicep curls on this side. And what I found through the practice of yoga and the practice of just fitness in general is when we push our body to do, it's good to find balance. And it's good to, if you're gonna work isometrically on one side, you should work the other side and do that. But if we have as a set rigid goal, a number in our head all the time, we miss the little opportunities, the little glimpses, the little Satori moments where our body goes, ooh, I feel like maybe two more would feel good on this side. Or I feel like this side needs a little bit of a break or a little bit of a stretch. and. When you look at my individual yoga practice, I am often doing a completely different combination of movements on one side than I am on the other side because I am open and receptive to what I need right now, today, in this moment. And when we're so linear, right brain, le right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, even, 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 even balance, we miss those opportunities. So give yourself the indulgence, the permission to hang out in a pose. When a, your yoga teacher moves on to the next posture and you're just like, oh, I don't really want to move on. This feels great and yummy. If you feel that it, there's a benefit to staying in that juicy place, stay there. Or if you feel like, oh, I could do two more chaturangas and I feel the heat in my body and this feels great and I just want to soak this in. I have a lot of energy today. Then stay there and do that. But we're so trained to just follow without question the person in front of the room that's teaching that we just do this, do this, do this, do that. And then they create these routines because they don't want you to be imbalanced. But a good teacher will give you permission to play a little bit to have that leeway for growth, for potentiality, for the present moment, for what you really need. So let's get out of the 80s and 90s, that very strict and rigid biomechanics, kinesiology, physiology, kind of rigid thinking, and start to play in these bodies. This is where you guys, the flow states are coming from, and people can do backflips on motocross bikes and they do these amazing physical feats it's because they're getting out of this ooh, tunnel vision of right left right left right left and they're opening up to oh my god my body can move in so many different ranges and motions and it feels good and it can feel good and I can benefit if I'm present which is your next tip is just being present so paramount and critical um, to the practice of yoga so namaste you guys